What's up, guys? This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I, and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind. Thank you for joining me once again, my friends. Hope all is well with you. Now, listen, guys, I want to talk to you about Zack Snyder. Yes, the Zack Snyder, the head honcho, numero uno, the big kahuna, the top dog, the number one dude in charge, the director extraordinaire, the savior, the messiah, the second coming, the one that the prophecies foretold of. Yes, that Zack Snyder. As you guys might know, Zack Snyder is coming down off of the mountain with a new movie later on this year. It's number, I guess it's the first part of a two-part movie, and it's Rebel Moon. Guys, you've heard about this. Rebel Moon, which will be dropping in December. December 22nd, I believe the release date is going to be. And of course, the industry is all abuzz. All of the fans are just running around. We don't know what to do with ourselves. Our heads are falling off and exploding. Oh my God, it's Zack Snyder. Yeah, he's blessing us once again. So we're all looking forward to this Zack Snyder business that's going to be coming out. And I saw the trailer. You might have seen the trailer. I'm going to leave it in the link below the pinned comment. You can check it out yourselves. And for my part, I think it looks pretty darn good. Yes, I do. I'm looking forward to this, guys. I've always enjoyed Zack Snyder's work. I do feel that he is uh, just a little bit overrated, you might say. <laughs> but I have enjoyed his work. I enjoyed uh, his remake of Dawn of the Dead. It was one of my very favorite zombie flicks of all time. Um, also, 300, loved it. Uh, Sucker Punch. And of course, who could forget the Schneider cut of Justice League? I enjoyed that. You guys know I did videos about this, congratulating those of you who were in the uh, Snyder verse out there of getting that, that victory, you know? Um, so I've always been happy about the work of Zack Snyder. I've always respected it. Um, wasn't the biggest fan of uh, Batman v Superman um, for reasons I've gone into before, but. I am looking forward to this particular production. It looks great. You guys know the story behind it. Zack wanted to do a Star Wars film back in the day, but for whatever reason, it didn't come about. Maybe they didn't like what he was shoveling. I don't know, but it didn't happen. So he went back to the lab and he came up with Rebel Moon. And this is what we're going to see. It's not a Star Wars flick. It's got nothing to do with Star Wars. It's obviously a lot heavier, a lot darker, a lot grittier. And, um... This is what we're going to be getting from him later on this year. So I am looking forward to it, guys. Like I said, I saw the trailer. It looked pretty good to me. You know what I mean? But something just happened to pop my bubble, man. Something that just brought me down. And it's got me wondering, do you guys feel what I'm feeling? When I tell you this, when I tell you what I'm feeling and why I'm feeling it, I want to know if you're feeling some of this or whether it's just me, right? So I saw that Zack Snyder released a statement on the Netflix PR page, okay? The Netflix PR page, because you know this is going to be released on Netflix. And it's also supposed to have a limited theatrical release as well. But primarily, this is going to be a Netflix event, part one and part two. Okay, so apparently, <laughs> Zacky Boy is already saying that Rebel Moon needs a director's cut. A director's cut. Oh, here we go again. Hold on, boys and girls. A director's cut. The movie hasn't even come out yet, guys. See, this this is the part, guys. This is the part that gets me back to being a hater. You know what I mean? I'm a lover. I love what the man does. I respect what the man does, except for the excessive slow motion. I've talked about this before. And also this director's cut thing. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. He always does a director's cut. It's just what he does. <laughs> but not before the damn movie even comes out, right? It's got me thinking, what are we here for? What am I here for? What did I come in here for? You know what I mean? If you're just going to tell me that what I'm watching is not the completed version, all right? Anyway, let's get into what Zacky Boy had to say real quick on the Netflix PR page, shall we? Okay, so Zach says... The Rebel Moon director's cut is close to an hour of extra content. So I think it's a legitimate extended universe version. He said, you really get to see a lot. It's just more painted in all the way. More painted in all the way. That's like going into a house. You're shopping for a house and 
half of it is painted and half of it is not. You're like, okay, that's a nice color. I wonder what the whole room is going to look like after it's finished. You're not seeing the finished version. You know what I mean? I want the finished version. When I get introduced to this universe, to this world, because it's going to be a lot of world building, no doubt about it. One thing Zacky Boy knows how to do is world build. I don't want to be thinking this is the incomplete version, okay? So anyway, let's get into what else he had to say. Uh, you get to really see a lot. It's more painted in all the way. The director's cut is a settle in deep dive, which I have notoriously done throughout my career. I don't know how I got into this director's cut thing, <laughs> but what I will say about it is that for me, the director's cuts have always been something I've had to fight for in the past and nobody wanted it. It was this bastard child that I was always trying to put together because they felt like there was a deeper version. They felt like there was a deeper version and he had to fight for it. Everything he's had, he's had to fight for. This guy is like, he's like Popeye. He's Popeye. He's had to fight for everything, for his vision. And like I said before, I could understand this if it was a theatrical release. But dude, it's on Netflix. What excuse do you have for not being able to come with your complete vision? We've been hearing about this now for years. See, this is the thing that gets me, right? I'm not necessarily a hater. It's just that, dude, I'm only going to live so long. Life is only so long, all right? It's like you're making us wait. Anticipation is making me wait. It's so good. Now, I'm dating myself because that was an old Heinz ketchup commercial, right? Anticipation. Now, I'm talking, man. If you're going to make us wait, the last thing you want to do is come to me and say, you know, there's going to be more that you're not going to see in this version. <laughs> I think this needs a director's cut before I even get to see what you're giving me in the first place. It's not right. Life is too short. It says here. And with Netflix, we shot scenes just for the director's cut. They knew they were making the correct director's cut. They shot scenes specifically for a director's cut. So in that way, it's really a revelation because it gives that second kick in the can for big fans, like a real discovery that they would not otherwise get. I'm really excited about it, he says. Why would they not otherwise get it? It's Netflix. You're the one that's presenting it. They're giving you all of this freedom. Why would they not otherwise get it? Put it in there the first time around, or at least release it first so we can see it, we can get immersed in it, we can rub it all over our bodies, we can marinate in it, and then, then drop it on us, all right? Because I'm no stranger. I'm no stranger to extended cuts. I'm no stranger to director's cuts. Look, 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 you see this? This is Lord of the Rings, the whole thing, right? It's all the extended cuts, all of that good stuff, you know? Get out of here, all right? I'm used to it. I love it. All right. But my thing is, I had already seen and was blown away by the original films. And then they de they uh, released the extended cuts and all of that stuff. It just it, it pops my bubble, man. It just it brings me down. It, it kills my high. You know what I mean? To think that this man is on some. You might be getting one version in December. But there's another version. <laughs> Where do you see the other version? Why should I be excited about the initial version is what I'm saying. See, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about, guys. I, I want to rock with this dude. I want to love this dude. I'm never going to be part of that fanatical worshiping Zack, Zack Snyder. Oh, no, I'm never going to be that. But I do enjoy his art. Okay, I enjoy his art. I do. I'm not, I'm not here to be hating. All right. But all I'm saying is don't is maybe it's just me, but don't you think it's just a little bit extra to, at this point, months before the shit even comes out for you to be talking about, there's going to be a director's cut. So now what do we have to look forward to on social media? You know what? I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it to me. If I didn't know better, Okay, this is if I didn't know better, okay, I know better, but if I didn't know better, I would think that you're covering your ass just in case the shit doesn't pop, just in case it ain't good. So you can say, well, 
this wasn't my original vision. And then you got a whole mass of people talking about, we want the, the Snyder Cut 2.0. We want the Snyder Cut. And here we go again. You know what I mean? It's not fair. Give the people the correct product right up front. You know what I mean? It reminds me of when I'm, I'm buying a, a, a some appliance or whatever, and they talk about, do you want the, you got to pay extra for the extended warranty. You know what I mean? What, you don't stand by your product? You know what I mean? Is that what you're telling me? You don't stand by your product. So now I got to come out of my pocket to get a little bit of extra security because you don't, you don't have that for me. You know what I mean? You're not going to stand by your product. That's like, that's like, ordering me to to take a shot of something and saying that I can't sue you if it gets me sick. You know what I mean? So anyway, this is the type of thing that I'm talking about, guys. Maybe it's just me, all right? But that, that actually drove me crazy, all right? I had to get here. I talked about this on Twitter just a couple of minutes ago, but I said, you know what? I'm going to do a video about this because I want to know if you guys understand where I'm coming from. If you feel where I'm coming from, this is not to be hating on Zach. Like I said before, it's not, but it's just hard, guys. He makes it difficult. I want to believe I do. You know what I mean? But when you pull stuff like this, bro, it just, it makes me think to myself, bro, can I trust you? You know what I mean? Why? Why should I even watch this in December? Maybe I'll just wait. Maybe I'll just wait for the director's cut. You know what I mean? I don't know, guys. Maybe I'm making too much out of this. But you can get in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this. If you are a Zach head or a, a, a Zach person or whatever, and you want to come in here and you want to attack me for what I'm saying, you have that. That's your prerogative, baby. But let me tell you something. The give back is something that you might not be ready for because, <laughs> dude, I'm not playing, man. You know what I'm saying? You can tell me how you feel, but I insist upon respect. You will respect me in this house. <laughs> anyway, get in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this. Does it kind of dampen? <sighs> yeah, dampen. <laughs> it's, it's hot in here. Does it kind of dampen your excitement on this? You know what I mean? Do you understand the artiste that is Zack Schneider? You know what I mean? It must be perfect. I must perfect this. You know, is that just what he does? I don't know, guys. But you can get in the comment section and you can let me know how you feel about this, guys. As always, I thank you for watching. I thank you for listening. I thank you so much for your support. I thank you for your super thanks. Um... All of that good stuff. I couldn't do this without you guys. So uh, thank you so much. I love you. I'll see you on the next one. This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on.